and, and they allowed me to make the statement that uh, yes, uh, please tell the public that uh, it's absolutely not the fault of uh, the DPP uh, officers because this is and they related to us uh, for two hours what was in the mind of Benji, how it bothered him that he was now uh, being going to be sued and he, in, he was not sued at all, he was not even included because wala siya kasalanan eh. Mm -mm. He just felt that his friends would ostracize him, kumakasamahan niya doon, would ostracize him kasi they all promised to bunch together uh, and then he executed an affidavit to clear his name uh, because of his family, no? Uh, so he was just in uh, emotional turmoil. Did he feel that um, the transaction was wrong? He obviously felt that there was something wrong because he was complaining to his wife about the the waivers. And the, you know, there were 10 waivers. No? He was bothered up because he felt that, he, at the same time, Benji felt that I covered up when I didn't object to so many waivers because that was not standard whenever we grant loans. At the same time, if I told them that, hindi naman nila ako pinapansin. So the, the wife said, Benji, do you have the power or do you have the influence to knock on the door of the board of directors and say, Sir, I can't sign this. There's something wrong. And Benji said, no, <laughs> I can't do that. So she just shrugged her shoulders and said, well, I guess he was helpless about it. The end of everything, was there coercion? No, there was no coercion. Sabi nga ni Kwan, sabi nga ni the two Mrs. Pinpins, mother and daughter-in-law, said, no, there's no coercion. And even the lawyer said, no. Benji came to see me because we were old friends. I was his first boss in his first job when he just passed the bar. So I mean, yeah, no, there was no pressure. <laughs> there was nobody with Benji. He came, he no I he was the one who notarized also. Oh the friend. The the, the affidavit of Benji. There was nobody putting a gun to his head saying sign this. Uh, Which we um like Attorney Tejada and, and, and even um Mr. Garcia. Garcia. Yeah. Uh, and almost everyone at the wake of of, of Attorney Pimpin were saying that there was really coercion. So this is actually new to us. The, I, I know because Ami Pimpin was telling me, and you know, it was the wake of Benji. And Sila Sila, they were occupying the family room and they were having their meetings and caucuses, you know, Ray David, Tejada. Garcia, they were planning something and I was not interested in what they're planning. I was having a week. I was grieving for my husband. And finally, one of the sisters, Sheila, told them, can you please do this elsewhere? Um, wasn't there a case also filed by by Mr. Garcia? Yeah, Bong, uh, oh. Bong Garcia, he was inside. Uh, he filed like harassment. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, we haven't been asked to look into that and we haven't looked into that, but because the Pin Pin case was fresh when Senator Laxon filed his resolution to investigate the anomalous loans, and naka footnote noon, and look also into the suicide of uh, Benjamin Pin Pin, uh, this all, uh, the committee uh, took it up. And not only that, you know, the, the friends of Bobby Ong Pin in the committee have been bringing it out as if you know it was such a a deciding factor in uh, Benji Pinpin suicide so okay I brought it out but only after I was put in touch with the family and convinced them to speak to the committee whatever they wanted to say because useless naman magiging one-sided nagsalita na nga sila tehada eh diba maingay nga and said, useless if you will have a one-sided hearing, let's see if there's somebody else with another perspective. Mm -hmm. But what they ask at the end is that, please naman, can, can you keep Benji out of this? He's, he's being used as a ping pong ball, literally. <laughs> One side is saying, oh, we caused the, this, the other side caused the death of Benji. The, the other side really didn't want to bring Brand, Benji into the debate, so they've more or less been keeping quiet, but they feel it's not fair naman that we're being unfairly accused. So the family came out and volunteered, which is very nice for them.